I again, still looking at quadratics, and you can probably guess we're looking at using the quadratic equation. I decided to cheat, leave it on the board so I didn't have to write it again. What do we got? We've got minus 5y squared plus, that should be 7y, kind of looks partly like an x, my apologies, to fix it, I will do this, it's a y. So minus 5y squared plus 7y minus 6 equals 0. And again, we could look at trying to factor this if we wanted to. If we tried, we'd find it didn't work. So we'd be stuck going, okay, now what? Ah, good old quadratic equation. Or again, if you don't like factoring, you might just jump to quadratic right away. It's a little bit messy looking sometimes, but it works. Even when, well, not going to let the cat back. So what do we got? In this case, b is 7, c is minus 6, and a is minus 5. Let's plug that all into our equation. So minus b, so minus 7, plus or minus, remember there's the two, poss possibly two solutions at least, 7 squared, or b squared, minus 4 times a, which is minus 5, times c, which is minus 6, extend my square root, all over 2 times minus 5. Okay, and this all equals well, this is equal to x. We're solving for, in the, oh, sorry, y in this case. We're solving for y. I think I forgot to mention that in the last video. We're solving for y, but when we got the roots, we realized those were what the roots were, what our values are. So let's keep going. Minus 7, plus or minus, square root of 7 squared, which is 49, minus 4 times 5, which, or 4 times minus 5, which is minus 20, times minus 6, which brings us back to 120, with the minus in there. 120. And uh-oh, I won't finish this off in the bottom, we got 2 times minus 5, minus 10, but right away, when I look at this, there's a problem. We haven't talked about it yet, but 49 minus 120. Let's see what happens in the next step. Minus 7, plus or minus, the square root of minus 71 all over minus 10. Again, we haven't talked about this, but this is bad. This is breakdown of math right here. We can't do this. We can't take the square root of a negative. There's a couple of rules in math you're not supposed to break. You're not supposed to take the square root of a negative, and you're not supposed to divide by zero. We'll look at that other case later, but the square root of a negative is causing us problems. For trying to solve a real root, this is a sign that it's not going to happen. If you continue on with math, you'll eventually start taking the square root of negatives without problem. Hear the term imaginary number, but for our purposes, we don't need to care about that. A square root of a negative right here means we can't solve this. There is no real root. There is no solution. This problem can't be solved from our purposes. So we're done. What there is, is no solution. We can say y does not have a value to make this equation work. So if you've been sitting there trying to factor, you could have been going on and on forever and not found a root. So we are done. This tells us no square root of negative. Ooh, we stop there.